Taral Volcano is situated on the island of Luzon in the Philippines, approximately 50 kilometers south of the capital city, Manila. It is located within a large caldera, known as the Taral Caldera, which is partially filled by Taral Lake. The volcano is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, a region characterized by intense volcanic and seismic activity. It is associated with the Philippine Mobile Belt, where the Philippine Sea Plate subducts beneath the larger Eurasian Plate. The subduction of the oceanic plate has led to the formation of multiple volcanic centers, including Taral Volcano. Taral Volcano is situated within a large caldera that was formed through successive explosive eruptions and collapse events. The initial caldera formation occurred approximately 500,000 years ago during a massive eruption, followed by subsequent eruptions that modified its shape and size. The main volcanic edifice of Taral Volcano rises from the center of the caldera. It consists of multiple stratovolcanoes and volcanic cones, the most prominent of which is Volcano Island. The island is characterized by a crater lake known as the Main Crater Lake. The Main Crater Lake is a unique feature of Taral Volcano. It is a large water-filled crater located within Volcano Island. The lake is famous for its picturesque scenery, but it also poses potential hazards during volcanic unrest. Taral Volcano has a long history of eruptions, with recorded activity dating back to the 16th century. Major eruptions occurred in 1754, 1911, 1965, and 1977, each with varying degrees of intensity and impacts on nearby communities. The 1965 eruption of Taral Volcano was one of the most significant eruptions in recent history. It involved a series of explosive eruptions and the formation of a new volcanic cone known as the Volcano Island. The eruption led to the evacuation of thousands of people and caused ashfall and volcanic gas emissions, affecting nearby provinces. The most recent major eruption of Taral Volcano occurred in January 2020. It was preceded by increased volcanic unrest, including ground deformation and the onset of volcanic earthquakes. The eruption produced a steam-driven explosion accompanied by ash plumes, volcanic lightning, and pyroclastic density currents. The eruption prompted the evacuation of thousands of residents and caused significant ashfall in surrounding areas. Taral Volcano is closely monitored by the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology Fivolks. Monitoring techniques include the use of seismometers to detect volcanic earthquakes gas monitoring to measure sulfur dioxide emissions, and ground deformation measurements using GPS and tilt meters. These monitoring systems provide early warning signals of potential volcanic unrest. Due to its proximity to densely populated areas, the potential hazards posed by Taral Volcano are carefully assessed. Hazard maps are created to identify areas at risk of pyroclastic flows, volcanic ashfall, and lahars. Public education campaigns, evacuation plans, and emergency response strategies are implemented to ensure the safety of the communities surrounding the volcano. Taral volcano eruptions have significant environmental impacts. Ashfall can damage crops, affect water quality, and disrupt ecosystems. The release of volcanic gases can contribute to air pollution and acid rain, impacting both terrestrial and aquatic environments. The alteration of the volcanic landscape and changes to the lake's water chemistry also affect the local flora and fauna. Eruptions of Taral Volcano have profound socio-economic consequences. Displacement of communities, disruption of livelihoods, particularly agriculture and tourism, and damage to infrastructure are common impacts. The cost of relief and recovery efforts, as well as the long-term economic consequences, pose significant challenges to affected communities. Taral Volcano's volcanic activity and history highlight the importance of effective monitoring and mitigation strategies in areas prone to volcanic hazards. The ongoing efforts of FIVOLX and other relevant authorities in monitoring volcanic unrest and communicating risks to the public play a critical role in reducing the impact of eruptions on surrounding communities. Continued research and comprehensive planning are essential to safeguard the population and ensure sustainable development in the region.
Thanks for watching our latest episode in our Erupting Earth series. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to ensure you do not miss any of our upcoming live streams and video uploads. We also cover a range of topics from wildlife and nature, live space launches, severe weather and global news.